Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on an older collection. It is um, Sir Vagabond Aviator. And um, I'm starting with page five, which is unusual, but I had this idea of what to do with the clock, and I just couldn't let it go. So I went ahead and started it, and it's going to be in the middle of the book, and I'm going to show you where I'm headed. So there's a big clock that fits inside of here. And I'm, I'm kind of shuffling the papers around looking for the inside of that. Here we go. So it goes like this. Okay. So what I did was I cut this ring out. <clears throat> and then I glued uh, black cardstock to it, but I only glued it halfway down. So I can put an insert in here. Actually, it's a little more than I thought it was, but I might have to open that up a little bit. And this is the insert that's gonna go in there. Nope, it works like so. Then I did the same thing here. It's only partially glued. It's also going to have an insert and it is this piece that's gonna go like so. Then this is also gonna have an insert. It doesn't have to be round. So I went ahead and added um, some flanges to create a pocket on here that's the right width for for my cut apart okay so again this that all of this is coming from the one um, the one clock that is in the eight by eight scrapbook pack so you cut out the outer circle the next circle and then I cut out the center <clears throat> And here's, and here's the center, it's gonna go like this. So we'll have the center, the center is gonna open up to this window. This window will have this insert. And when you take the insert out, you can have a photo here, whatever you decide. I'm gonna, um, I think, leave it uncovered for now. So it'll go like that, dun, dun. and then this will open up and it will have this insert and then on the back you've got photo space and then this last one which slipped inside put all my inserts in this so um and i'm going to alternate the openings so this will open you've got an insert <clears throat> This will open, like so, this side, and then this will, and then you close it, and then it'll, so I'm just going to um, waffle it back and forth. This will open, and that's the insert. And I've got uh, these backs for... For these, but the back, the inserts will not have backs on them. Okay, so only um, only the ones when you open it up will be exposed. So any of the inserts will just have black on the on the inside. Okay, so again, let's start from the beginning. <clears throat> I think I've got this clock in the collector's pack. It's just a smaller version, so I'm going to pull that out and we can kind of look at it in its complete state. So as you can see, I am going to use a collection pack. Okay, so pretty much started like this. I cut out the, the outside of the circle, okay? That's created this large space. Then I cut right along the tan on the outside. So this ring only has the numbers. And then once I had completed that, I came back and cut right here at the top of those. Okay, so that's how you're going to start. You're going to cut these three circles out. Okay, so this nests in here and this nests in here and I get a complete clock. Okay, so go ahead and cut those three out and I'll show you what I used to cut those out uh, because it's not a standard size. I used one of these ever round. We don't sell them. You can buy them on um, Amazon. And then also I have um, another one that I think is a Fisker one that 
you know, you can alternate the size um, by adjusting this element right here so you can make your circle larger or smaller. And um, I, I didn't find that one to be very accurate. So I actually bought this one after I had tried the other one. It's still better than freehand. And then lastly, what you can do is use a compass, draw circles, and um, and then free cut, right? Some people are better at that than others. Now, because of the way I designed it, we're not trying to mat these because when they're all nested together, I want it to look as though it's just the clock. So you're not going to see any black between them. Okay, hope that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to start on the bottom. So this is... In order to center the insert for this one, which is somewhere, which is the Sir Aviator, and I mislaid it somehow in the last few seconds that I've been shuffling things around. Um, I Basically, the, the bottom of the Sir Vagabond had a strip. Where is it? I want to show it to you. Oh, maybe I closed it inside my computer. Yeah, I did. Closed my computer and there it was. So I wanted to capture this through the circle. So I had to offset this um, to make it work. If I had just left it at its original size, you wouldn't see the Sir Vagabond. So in order to accommodate that, I added these one inch strips that are scored in half. And then I kind of scooted it around till I got what I wanted. So there it is. Okay. Lovely, and I'm probably gonna put a little tab on this so people know to open it. So now I'm gonna take this, and I don't need a backdrop on it because it's gonna get glued directly to the page, page five. Now I'm ready to go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna take these strips off and I'm gonna add glue around the edge, and then we're gonna test and see if my thought process is working. <laughs> I, think, I think we're okay. This is gonna be a little bit of a challenge to get on straight. So I'm probably gonna put a bead of glue on top of the tape as well. And this, this is gonna be the hinge that opens the circle, but you'll see that in a second. So um, once you get these um, pocket flanges in, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is add a little strip here and we're, we're probably going to have to fine-tune this a little bit I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to fine-tune that um, actually you know what I'm rethinking that I, the next thing I want to do is add this so I'm going to go cover those back up again um, so we'll get the, this circle in right and then we'll put the whole thing down <clears throat> and you'll see why in a second because this piece needs to be tuned, it'll be much easier to do before I add it to the page. So now I put this in my scoreboard with 60 on top, 30 on the bottom, and I scored a half inch. So this is gonna become the hinge that this opens up on. So I'm going to adhere it to this piece. So here's my hinge for the pocket, and then I just added a little extension so I have something to grab and create that half inch. Uh, motion. So what I'm going to do is add glue to this part, put it down, see how it functions, and then I may trim some of this out or it may wind up uh, adhered to the back of this just as reinforcement. So with all that said, I think I'm going to take a little bit of tape off right here. Uh, and the reason is I want to stick this down on my mat. So I'm not fighting the movement of this while I'm trying to figure out exactly how to place that. Okay, and I think there's just enough tape exposed to help me. Nope. Oh, there's not enough on this side. Let me hold it in place. <clears throat> All right, there, much much better. So again, there's my half inch hinge. Doesn't look like it, but when you push it against your scoreboard and do a half inch, that's what it's gonna that's what it's gonna look like. Okay, and I'm lining the 60 with the top. I could have done a better job by using my grid to hold put this in 
a square position. There we go. Now I'll turn it. Okay, that looks like it. Of course, this could be taped too. Now the other thing you could do, instead of cutting a whole circle, is you could leave this last part attached and just score it. I found that to be, I, I kind of thought that through and I thought, ah, that's a lot harder than just reattaching it once you get all your measurements in place. Okay, so now this will open like so. So the question is, do I want to go ahead and fold this over to reinforce the hinge or not? I don't have to. I can trim it off or I can reattach it. So I gotta think about that a little bit. I think I'm gonna attach it. And instead of gluing it, I'm gonna add some tape. So when I go to put my insert in, it doesn't get stuck on it. And I think I'm gonna use this wonderful tape from my creative spirit. I forget what it's called. Construction tape, something construction tape. <laughs> Terrible. But this is what I use on my hinges. You can also, I wouldn't recommend book binding here because it's too thin. So, just gonna use this tape and I'll just tear it where it needs to be. Or just cut it right there real quick. <clears throat> that. Okay, so we have our first one in. And I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do here yet. Um, you guys will figure, you'll know when I know, but I'm probably going to put something on here that indicates that you open it up, like a knob or a brad or something. Okay, so this one's in. Here's my insert for this one. Okay, just like so. I think I'm gonna hold off on putting this into the book until I got them all done. So I'm gonna set this aside because we're gonna do the same thing for layer two, which means I am going to put it at 12 o'clock and sorry, 12 o'clock. I'm like, that doesn't look right. And I'm gonna score my half inch on this side, okay? So it's gonna waffle back and forth. So this one we will do together. So I'm gonna put my six on top, 12 on the bottom. I'm using that little mark as the indicator. Take my score tool, come down half inch. A little awkward. I tried a quarter inch at first. There's not enough surface area to really grab um, your mechanism. So there's my half inch score line. Okay, so that means I need to put a little flange that sticks out here, right? So I'm gonna glue a little something in here for this to grab onto. Okay. Let's see, is this gonna be right? None of this black should be showing. I need to turn that off. I don't know how that happened. I must have miscalculated my circle. Oops, I got a little deep there. I 
I must have been thinking about matting it, which you don't want to do. You want to cut the circles the same size. Add some ink, help cover up my sins. Okay. All right. So this goes from here to here. I think I'm going to glue this in first. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put a little glue here. Okay, we'll let that dry. It's not very symmetrical, but that doesn't matter. It's all going to be hidden behind this. What the heck is Cut all these little strays. I must have gone around the circle twice and caught it slightly off the first one. All right. So where's my, there it is, hinge. Okay, here's what I'm looking for. There's my half inch hinge. I'm pushing it here because this is where it's going to be installed. Put it up there. Here's the piece we just added. I'm not sure if you can see it. It starts here and ends here. I just want to make sure it's inside this score line. If it comes out past it, then it won't fold right. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So it looks like it's right. So now it's just a matter of lining this up and then pushing this closed. Okay. So there's little tick marks here and there that'll help you line it up. If you're paying attention. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to add glue here. Close it. Let it wrong turn. Let it get a get a hold. Okay. may have to come back and trim a couple of these spots to make sure it opens smoothly. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and tape the back of this just like we did on the first one. So we'll add the tape. Still wants to open and close. Yes, it does. I'll add that black tape just so our insert doesn't get stuck on it when we try to put it through. magnet here. I'm going to do that right now so I don't forget. I should find the cover for this. Okay. Then we have basically one more. There we go. I don't know why this didn't want to come apart. Okay, 
Now our last one is this one and it's weird. <laughs> I didn't notice this. I should look back at the, what I just showed you. Yeah, it's, so that's 12, right? And they lined the six up with 60. So that seems weird. I don't know why they didn't line 12 up with 12, but they didn't. Um, so be it. So I'm going to put it in um, the way it, the way they made it. <laughs> if I can figure it out. There, that's what it is. Okay, so that means... At the, the top of this flourish is going to go into my scoreboard. Like so. And I'm going to come across and I'm going to score a half inch. Oops. Which is not that easy to do when you add, already added the chip uh, cardstock to the back, but. Okay, we're going to do the same process. We're going to put a little um, something under here for this to grab a hold of. It doesn't have to be very big, but it should be it should be rounded, so it'll go inside a little bit better. Size. Plenty big enough. I think. Maybe it needs to be a little deeper. Okay. All right. Looks good. up okay I'm looking to line up these elements it looks good With this. Now this one um, doesn't have an insert. It's going to have just a photo space here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down, but it's all going to get covered with uh, designer paper in just a second. Okay, so there we go. Okay, next the whole dealio. Now let's go ahead and install it on the pocket page. I kind of like it. It's different. I'm always trying to think of something different to do with Stamperia clocks and circles because <laughs> they do them in every collection. So it's nice to come up with new ideas. Okay. I need, the reason I was thinking is I need to figure out where this is going to go. I don't know, those must stuck together. Here we go. Okay. I think everything is inked. Yes.
don't glue the top or you won't be able to put your insert in. I'm just buying myself a little wiggle time by adding glue on top of my tape. Okay, once again, page five. Okay, well, let's try to get our inserts in. So this is number one. Oops, it came through the circle. <laughs> down there we go nothing here so I'm, I'm pretty happy with this page I think it turned out pretty cool okay now yeah I might have to turn that up a little bit Oh, I forgot. I didn't uh, re-score that after I added the tape. Push that into place. Better. More better. Okay. So, now we're going to cover the back of these. And we're gonna have to, I made a bigger mat than I meant to. Gonna have to trim this so it doesn't get caught when you're opening and closing. So I'm gonna stop it right there. Trim that real quick so I can see it. Okay, now let's take a look. Alrighty. A little bit of ink. Okay, and before I glue it down, I'm going to take the insert out. We're going to locate the magnet right there. sure what I'm going to do with this background. He's going to be in there most of the time, but I'm going to cover that magnet so you don't get stuck on it when you're um, pulling your insert in and out. I'm just curious. So obviously that's a photo space as well. So you have this photo space and this photo space just for this part of the circle. I fell on my stairs, I was going to say the other day, about a month ago. And when I sit for very long at all, it starts burning. I uh, really tore up my ankle. <sighs> okay, burnish this. Okay. Now this is going to go here, so I don't have to... Don't have to cover the magnet. Mm, yeah, I had to think about which side I wanted. Okay. 
on the bottom flange. That's annoying. There we go. Okay. And we have this side. Put our magnet here. A lot of magnets, but it's a super cool paint. <laughs> okay, so this is going here. We need to trim it to account for the hinge. That's This one I did a much better job in terms of fitting it. It's still not quite right, but... Okay, that looks pretty good. Oops, I cut up too much. Too much. I'm terrible at freehanding, I tell you. One of those things too, um, I'm either having a good day or a bad day with that. Okay. Is that any better? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I just need to come down. Yeah, I think I'm going to take another sliver off. There we go. Much better. Well, much is probably get some ink on here.
Third time's a charm. This was the third one I cut and it's closest. But anyway, I'm hoping people will look past some of the sizing issues and appreciate sort of the uniqueness of the design. Ink. If I have enough paper to come back and, and uh, cover these, I will. Just not sure. This is the uh, first page, and it's taken one whole 8x8 eight eight and one 12x12 12 12 to do this page because the back of the circles came from the 12x12. 12 12. Mm, is that right? One 12x12 12 12 plus this, plus a partial. She came off one of the... Um, 12 by 12s. This pattern is from the backgrounds. And of course, she's from the 12 by 12 collection pack. Forgot to mention that earlier. Okay, super duper cool. I do think I am going to come back and trim. This goes this way, which means this comes this way. This little bit, because it keeps getting stuck. So I'm, I'm actually, I'm going to do it later because I feeling like I'm going to make a mistake. But that is page five. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do on page four yet, but I'm pretty happy with this. She's going to go in here. I need another piece of black tape. Just to keep it from getting hung up when you're putting your insert in. Okay, she goes there, this goes here. I just thought it was kind of interesting. Is there a right side and a wrong side? It goes this way. I said right and wrong, but I meant up and down. Pretty cool, it's kind of thick. Um, and of course it'll get a little bit thicker when you get um, some photos in there. Now for the, the, the guy, or for her, I put a little tab on it. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put a little tab on, um, wait a minute, what's missing? This, this, oh, she was just pulled out. So I've got a tab here to indicate you pull. I'll put a tab on this guy and then probably a little something on, on this, which is the, the very bottom one. Okay, I think I might trim this a little bit narrower because it seems like it's good, it's a little difficult to get in and out. And the tabs are gonna be cut apart from various, um, gears that are in different pictures throughout the collection so just so long as there's something that sort of indicates to pull on it and then sticking with the gear theme throughout so there'll be a little gear popping out right here and this will have maybe a little gear on this side to indicate that you open it okay that's it for page five i hope you guys enjoyed